G'day, welcome to Wimble Trains YouTube channel. Now, if you've watched the channel in the past, you might have remembered we built this uh, curved viaduct scratch, built that one. I don't think that was back in uh, August last year, I think, 2020. So, after that, I got a bit tired of cutting out all those pieces, but now work has recommenced on the next section which will be all this, which is a bit more trickier than that because I've got three ways split so what we've done on the next bit so far is we've built a few arches for this side so I'll just uh, show you those there's one, now you notice it's curved on one side and flat on the other to fit in that spot there that. then there's a couple of smaller ones just straight. Now if you want to see how I've done all this, um, you can go back to the previous video for the curved one. Like I said, I think it's back in uh, August 2020 on how I did that. It's basically the same as this. So there's another smaller one and another curved one to go down the end. And then if I show you this bit here, this is the bit that's going to go on the outside. I've done some of the brickwork there, I've got to finish off the other two arches here. So now we've glued our side of our viaduct onto the arches, like so. And then these, this whole thing should just slot in to this side if it lines up with the edges which it does pretty well right just want to show you this we um, now glued the side bit on put that on yesterday so it should be dry by now so I should pull all these clamps off and see what it's like. So that's it, we've got the one side in. That's glued in now, so it's not going anywhere. So now that we've got this bit in, the next bit we're gonna do is around here. Now, I'll show you this. This is gonna go underneath underneath this section here. Now this bit here was rather tricky to do because it splits off into two and the width of this and this doesn't equal this. So yeah these had to sort of meet a bit short of that but that's all right that'll all be um, hidden under there. We'll just test fit it now. problem we can't get this in hmm let's think about this getting closer we just got to get that little bit more well that was almost a disaster we got that in with a bit of brute force we made it go in so we won't make the same mistake on this side I think we'll just put the arch in there first and then just glue the fascia on separately i would say be the go welcome back to the viaduct build on the t-junction module progressed along a bit more we've only now got three sides to do one i've already cut out here should go in there and then Another one here, which I've got almost ready. It's just got to be cut to length. And then once that's done, we'll be able to put the last side in around here. And then just put some little walls in there across between the different fire ducts. So that's it for now. We'll finish it off soon, hopefully. See you soon.
so now we have all our side walls on the viaduct now we're going to add some buttresses to it to finish it off so I've glued the first one there so that's how I'm going to make them like that just out of um, two millimeter card yeah so once we have the buttress in place on the outside there I'm going to put another little piece on the inside like so and then just wrap that paper around that one's being held in place at the moment so we'll see it after it's done how it's going to go and then we'll have some capping stones which I've also done on one millimeter card here and that's just going to go along the top there and that's quite flexible that'll bend around the curves no worries so we'll just bend it or might even pre-bend it glue it bit by bit as we go around with the rocket card glue then on top of the buttresses on the inside we'll put a larger capping stone so there's the first buttress done looks okay now I was going to just put buttresses on the ends but I decided um, you know maybe we should go the whole hog just put them along that's not going to stay is it for me it's going to cause me trouble uh, be that way so then we'll just do that and we'll put them all along here so that means I have to make another 18 of those there they are on the production line this has got to be wrapped around and done and then we'll go through and put them all on and then uh, the capping stone there it's not glued on yet then we'll have to make smaller ones to go there and there and there over this one and mm, this one that we built before as well so there we go now we are getting closer to finishing all this now there's that bit and then there's the other one it's got all the buttresses and everything on it but I just want to show you a mistake I made with this part here is um, when I joined it up with the other section this wasn't right it wasn't square it was uh, you, there was a big gap and everything so I've had to actually cut a bit of that end off and I'll put a couple of uh, photos of how much I cut off and I've stuck a new piece in there so you can you can see where the join is but um, I guess in the end we can always put some foliage a tree or something in front so I did that on on both sides I had to do that so that the two modules uh, meet up properly so a bit of a mistake should have paid more attention to making that square so lesson learned so there you have it all finished and completed finally many hours of work in that cutting card non-stop so uh, we've still got this little gap here which uh, don't know I had a couple of ideas um, maybe a bridge or do I continue the viaduct because yeah I'm not sure well we'll see that's it I hope you enjoyed the build I'll just uh, sign off now and run a few trains across it and uh, we'll see you next time on uh, Wimble Trains YouTube channel this is John saying see you later and bye